He was already fired. Now Harvey Weinstein resigned from the board of his now former company. It is the latest development in the film executive's fall from power as sexual assault and rape allegations add up against him. And with film companies right here in Texas, there's a potential impact here. One lawmaker, in fact, wants to stop all taxpayer subsidies to television and movie companies, accusing the entire industry of bad sexual behavior. Jeff Paul tonight with that story. All new at 10 o'clock. It's crunch time at Panavision in Irving. They're prepping cameras for Robert Redford's new movie based on a Texas prison escaping. Company Vice well, President John Shrimp there, says yeah. the crew is only you know, here for a few know. setup shots. And, you know, Most of the movie was filmed in Ohio. Because they have a better incentive program and they have more money available. The Texas Film Commission's once $95 million incentive budget from four years ago now sits at $22 million and could soon become zero. We would be forced to leave. State legislator Matt Shaheen wants to totally defund the commission after sex assault and harassment allegations surfaced involving film executive Harvey Weinstein. It's just the failure of man. This has nothing to do with the movie business. Shrimp, who's also the president of the Texas Motion Picture Alliance, says for every dollar Texas spends on the program, $5.55 comes back. It is not welfare for Hollywood. Representative Shaheen says he doesn't want tax dollars funding a Hollywood culture that turned a blind eye to behaviors many have accused Weinstein of repeating. These are the people that will often lecture the rest of the United States on how to live. Shaheen tried abolishing the commission last session, failed, but expects his legislation he's currently crafting to succeed in 2019. I really don't believe that we need the film commission. I think Texas will be just fine in this industry without it. Those involved in the industry like shrimp say it won't hurt Tinseltown, only the Lone Star State. And these are Texas workers. And unfortunately, we're draining a lot of them out of the state. In Irving, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.